deal with that later. Welcome back. And if you're just getting up this morning, well, grand rising to you. How you feeling this morning? Have you decided how you felt yet? You know, it's a personal choice. You do know that, right? So today I don't choose violence and I choose happiness. What are your choices? What are you choosing today? It's um, a lot going on in the news today. I heard about this uh, heat wave. About 35 million people from the Northwest down to the Louisiana Gulf Coast are under excessive heat warning and watches. So if you're anywhere in between that, dress for the hot weather. Get ready. Make sure you hydrate. Get your water bottles. Get what you need to stay healthy in this extreme heat because it is real out there. Get your dogs from outside. Bring them inside the house. Turn that air conditioner on. Turn your fans on. Keep it cool. All right, Philly Rich215 underscore GVO. Rich Rise it. Hey. So have you guys heard about, uh, I know you've been hearing about this Delta variant. No, it's not an airlines we're talking about, but it's this new strand of uh, COVID-19. And the variant continues to spread. The case numbers rise. And more employers are now requiring their workers to get vaccinated. So I'm not sure if you guys heard about that. But New York City will require workers to be vaccinated by mid-September or they will have to face weekly testing. California also um, is in that mix. California and the Department of Veteran Affairs also issued mandates requiring vaccines. Now, in related news, for those that are suffering lingering symptoms of COVID-19, like breathing issues, memory loss, and chronic pain. Well, that is considered long COVID. And President Biden announced yesterday that long COVID can be considered a disability under federal law. Hmm. Biden also announced yesterday that U.S. combat mission in Iraq will officially come to a close by the end of the year, but trips will, troops will remain supportive. Today, House Committee is investigating that January 6th attack on the Capitol. Y'all remember that? When they look like Donkey Kong hanging on the side of the buildings? Well, um, today we're going to hear testimony from officers who were attacked and beaten by the rioters and hear what they have to say, their firsthand account. And we've been keeping up on the condo collapse in Surfside, Florida. Uh, the final victim was finally rescued um, bringing, or finally identified rather, bringing the death toll to a, of the tragedy to 98. Uh, this happened a couple of weeks ago, a condo collapse in Surfside, Florida, um, and there has been mass evacuations and rescue plans to get them out. Uh, they vowed not to stop the rescue mission until every single person was identified or found. Somebody said, rest in peace, Kim Burrell. Kim Burrell didn't pass away, did she? You lying. I'm not doing that with y'all right now. Yeah, disability checks don't go crazy with this COVID. And I already told y'all about the heat warnings going on. So that's what's going down in my news today. I'm about to uh, tell the world, let them know what's going on nationwide, worldwide. We had Dr. Melina Abdullah on today, Pan-African Studies professor. Absolutely amazing, talking about qualified immunity, um, what we need to do to stop qualified immunity and how it is negatively affecting victims of police brutality in the hands of police officers and what they fail to uh, be charged for, as well as the families that have long suffering and lingering effects because of their loved ones being uh, killed by the hands of the police and basically no justice happening because they're shielded by qualified immunity. So talking about that today and what we can do as a people individually and collectively to help eradicate qualified immunity. So these police officers will be held accountable for their actions, such as a doctor, go to the hospital, doctor does a procedure. Now, if the doctor does something wrong, it's called malpractice. So what about the police? If they do something wrong, what is it called? It's called They're Shielded by Qualified Immunity. So we're going to talk about that and dealing with that. So I hope y'all log on to the rickysmileymorningshow.com. If you don't get it in your town, I don't know where you live, but if you don't get it in your town, rickysmileymorningshow.com. We have a whole app. We got a website. We got an app. You can hear it. It's going down. Whoa. Mm -hmm. 
Don't judge me, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to sing at some point. Y'all already know that. Rich Bright, you tight so loud. Y'all know I'm going to try to sing. Something's going to happen. Mm, I'm reading some of y'all comments. This is crazy. I'm going to check my DM. I see you. Michelle, I'm going to check it. Get on up. Get up. My coffee's right here. Got my coffee. Mondays don't like me neither. What's for lunch and dinner? Well, it is whatever my husband requests. So um, my hubby is here and whatever you want to eat, that's what he can for dinner. Very that simple. Ay, 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 ay. We're playing Go Crazy by Chris Brown. News headlines. Entertainment. Sports. It's the front page on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, y'all, Rick's Mountain Morning Show, 27 minutes after the hour, y'all. The same was being brought to you by Indeed. That's right, with Indeed Instant Match. Just sponsor a post and immediately receive a short list of quality candidates who resumes, uh, who resumes on Indeed Match, your job description. Make sure you visit Indeed.com slash credit. Eva, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with a quick look at your front page news. Four police officers testified before a House committee investigating the Capitol attack on January the 6th. The officers said that they were beaten, crushed, and repeatedly tased by rioters. They said, quote, all of them were telling us Trump sent us. Another officer spoke about how he and other black officers were called the N-word. A D.C. Metro police officer said had this to say to lawmakers, i.e. Republicans, who he feels have turned against them. What makes the struggle harder and more painful is to know so many of my fellow citizens, including so many of the people I put my life at risk to defend, are downplaying or outright denying what happened. I feel like I went to hell and back to protect them and the people in this room. But too many are now telling me that hell doesn't exist or that hell actually wasn't that bad. The indifference shown to my colleagues is disgraceful. Representative Liz Cheney, one of two Republican members, said that the committee should investigate Donald Trump's role in the attack. Now, in other news and an update on a story we've been following, the man accused of killing a killing spree at Asian owned spas in Atlanta area pled guilty to four counts of murder and was sentenced to life in prison yesterday. And last but not least, the CDC has updated its mask mandate and guidance to recommend that fully vaccinated people wear masks indoor in areas with high transmission of COVID-19. All right, that was a quick look at your front page news. For more, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. Rock T, what's going on in sports? Well, let's start with the Tokyo Olympics update for everybody. Medal leaders, USA is leading the pack with 30 total medals so far. China is 24, and Japan has a of 20. USA men's basketball's team, they bounce back with a blowout victory over Iran. Swimmer Katie Ledecky wins the gold in the 1500 meter freestyle. And yes, update with our sister Simone Biles. She withdraws from the individual all around finals, which would have took place on tomorrow. She will not compete in order to focus on her mental health, man. And hundreds of her fellow pro athletes from all sports has expressed their support. And, of course, on behalf of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, we support Simone as well, man. So keep doing what you're doing. Houston, Texas quarterback Deshaun Watson. He will have no restrictions despite sexual misconduct allegations of more than 20 women massage therapists accusing him on crossing the line during what was supposed to be routine rub-down sessions. So he's at camp. He's with the Texans. And uh, as of right now, NFL is has no restrictions on him. So we'll see what happens. Last but not least, the feud between NFL star quarterback Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers is obviously over. He finally arrived to camp, and uh, they must have got that doggone restructured situation with his contract and given him the money that he deserves as being one of the best uh, quarterbacks ever of all time. So it's looking like that we will see number 12 behind the center for Green Bay. That's what I got for sports right now. Follow my social media platforms at Rock T. Hollow. Let's talk it out. It is what it is. The Brat got the hospital.